you just gonna take over, huh? You got something to say about the vaccine? Huh, girl? headed to Target well Mila and I are headed to Target before we go pick up the other kids I'm pretty much just going there for one thing which is um, they have this creme brulee this frozen creme brulee that comes in um, a set of two and it comes with like a really cool ceramic um, I don't know what you call it like a little ceramic dish that they come in so it's like two of them for like I think it's like seven dollars or around seven dollars they sell out of it a lot though I guess, you know, everybody's been put onto it already. Because sometimes I go there, they don't have any. Sometimes I go there, there's only one left. So, we're going there for that. And then I wanted to look at the summer clothes. Because, um, as far as, I think I should have turned right there. That probably would have been a little bit quicker. It's like 5.15, so it's like 5 o'clock traffic. And I just always want to try to find the quickest way to get there without having to deal with a whole bunch of people. But um, anyways, yeah, so really just trying to kill time while I drive to Target. Let me put the sanitizer on my hands while we're talking. Um, this whole vaccine thing, I don't really know what to think about it. Like, part of me is like, yeah, I definitely want to get one because, you know, I care about, you know, my safety, the safety of my family and, you know, everyone else. I, I definitely don't want to be the reason why someone else is sick, nor do I want to get sick. But at the same time, and I get why it was rushed and why everything came out rushed because it was, a, you know, obviously a pandemic and there was a, a need for it. It was a sense of urgency around it. But to me, I just feel like there's not enough information about, this camera's probably about to fall over again. There's not enough information about, you know, side effects and there's different uh, vaccines, but like, do you get to choose what vaccine you get? What are like, you know, the differences? like? When you go to the doctor, if there's more than one option, you get to kind of choose the option and figure out what works best for you. you whatever other kind of, really me like, you just gonna take over, huh? You got something to say about the vaccine? Huh, girl? So yeah, I'm just kind of like, you know, I kind of want to be a little bit more informed about it, you know, so that I can know what the best decision is. And it's something that's so new, you know, it's just scary, is really, I guess, what I'm getting at. Long story short, that's how I feel about it. It's a little bit scary because you just don't know. You can look up and find all kind of side effects and whatever else. Here, princess. They're playing loud music, so I've got to make this quick. But here's the Opal House cows that I was talking to y'all about that I love so much. they got so many different colors. and. They're so pretty. I might grab a couple more while I'm in here. Selection as far as clothes go. I don't really have as much stuff anymore. I'm not sure why. Another broken Cute little purses for girls. Backpack. Never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. What's that we can't take? How cute is this? We are the reason opposites attract. Once you slam the door on the second floor, I have this comforter at home already on my bed. I thought about getting this one. But it's almost like too similar to the color of it. You make me lose my mind like all the time. It still feels right.
talk until we're fine You've been in bed for days Empty without me, you say Can't you just magically turn up in mine? Then you knock on my door on the second floor And I feel okay We just made it through And I love the way I feel for you mm, baby Friday, everyone Got off work a little bit ago And we are out walking Trying to get a little bit of exercise. It is way hotter than I thought it would be. Right? That's the Hana. That's the Hana. It's like a place where it's really hot. It's a sauna. Yep, so just headed to the store to get a few things because I'm really, really, really not wanting to leave the house for the rest of the weekend. Like, I really need to get this vlog up work on a couple other things and plan a couple things out some little upcoming projects or whatnot that I want to do and um, yeah so of course I got some minced garlic if you cook you know you gotta have you some minced garlic up. got some balsamic vinegar I love me some balsamic vinegar I don't know if this is gonna focus or not balsamic vinegar then I got me some Hershey syrup, and I got the special dark chocolate kind. I love a good glass of chocolate milk every once in a while. So I've never had this before. I like dark chocolate, so I figured I would try the dark chocolate syrup. It has a lot less calories and stuff than the regular. So like I said, I am getting ready to start trying to do some type of little fitness journey. Summer's coming up, and I just want to be healthier overall. Got some grapefruit juice, which I love. This is the coffee I got this time. I've had this before and I really like it. So I got the McCafe. I feel like I'm going through this so quick. <laughs> uh, some green beans. Love those. Some spinach. I got some pumpkin seeds. These are the snacks that I got because I'm trying not to do the chips and stuff like that. So I got pumpkin seeds, which I've heard were really good. 10 grams of protein, so that's awesome. Got those. Um, wasabi and soy sauce. I love these. Uh, what are they? Yeah. Um, a marsala, which I love. Got this to make chicken marsala one day coming up. Okay, something's going on with my SD card, so I'm going to have to speed this up and then figure out what's going on. I got a couple of seasonings here. This uh, brown sugar and maple, which by the way, this is like the best thing ever. This little spice thing I got from Amazon because if you like to cook nothing's worse than trying to find something that you want so I just kind of have a divide I need to go back and organize it it kind of gets unorganized as I start cooking but just putting all the spices there you know okay then I got some chicken apple sausage just kind of self-explanatory I got this because I'm gonna ro make some roasted coconut to put like on my drink and I just got a couple of salads to have I like to have these on hand just like quick little meals and then I got this at uh, the gas station on the way home. It is so good. I love it. Okay. And then I got some little organizers, kitchen organizer or uh, kitchen storage things for food, leftovers, stuff like that. And then these are the sponges I was telling y'all about from CVS. These things are bomb. One dollar, you get ten sponges. And then let me show y'all what I do, real quick. Okay. So I'm back. So basically, I take these and I cut them in half and put them in. Um, Ziploc bags and use them to clean. I mean sponges. They just go a dollar goes a long way that way And then I have this little thing I got from Amazon the kids always want to help do the dishes and stuff like that But they use a lot of the soap so I bought this sponge on it and just like a couple of taps Like maybe two a little bit of water and you're good to go with cleaning the dishes So yeah, one dollar for this whole pack cut them in half you end up with 20 and then yeah They last a long time as they start getting old you throw them away or you use them to clean stuff um, I use them to clean up the kitchen or around the house, the car, anything. So, yep, some little mom hack. CBS is where I get these at. I haven't found sponges anywhere else that come with this many that are this good of quality. And they're a dollar. Like, you cannot beat it. So, yep, that's my grocery haul. And yeah. So, you know you've reached a certain age or a certain point in your life when you get excited and remember that you have a candle that you haven't burned yet. So that is where I'm at. I'm in the middle of trying to redo my room. This was actually part of the, um, I actually did a haul for the stuff that I got at home when I went decor shopping. And that 
footage somehow disappeared. The footage that I had going down to the river that I really loved. It was so pretty that day. That one. There we go. I think it's because the ceiling fan is on and it keeps blowing it out. Yeah, this was on clearance at, at home and it was like a couple dollars. Frosted pine. I thought that that would have like a really, um, like fresh scent but yeah I'll show y'all real quick the stuff I'm working on in my room I wanted it a very vibey like chill spot where I can just relax I got this painting at Target I thought it was really cool I'm going for like that 21c which is a hotel here type of museum artsy kind of vibe so we got that painting and then we got this is Opal House from Target the painting um, I think I did film when I went there, so I might you might be seeing this already. And then I got the um, comforter set. This is also Opal House, so it has these cool little peacocks on it. And my curtains that I've actually had for like two months. The curtains were the first part of it. I wanted some um, I wanted some wallpaper like this, but I don't think I'm supposed to do that on the walls here. So that wall back there is going to have the curtains to do some touch-up paint on the walls. But these curtains are gonna go across this wall. The playpen's all in the way because I'm trying to clean all these clothes up. So it'll have like a little little vibe when it's all done. Yeah, I'll definitely film once it is finished just to kind of see. But it's very, you know, vibey or you know, my type of vibe. So yeah. A little frosted pine. It smells really good. Fresh and just clean. Yep. So hope y'all are having a good night. Is that my bestie in a dressy? Got a dress on today. Hey y'all, so I decided to make one of those creme brulees that I got from Target the other day. And here they are. And let's see, the directions. They basically tell you to uh, put it in the oven, but I don't know, I don't do that. I bought these a couple times and made it that way. And then it's kind of like you gotta wait for it to cool down. So to me, it kind of defeats the purpose. I don't know if it messes it up by doing it the way that I do it. But I just let it sit in the refrigerator for a few hours and then um, then I make it. So I'll just and then I just kind of move the box out of the way. <laughs> Torch it to my liking. along finally got the curtains up it was a long time coming got those up and got it lit up blue for autism awareness for the month of April so it's Saturday night and I was hoping to be able to upload a new vlog this week but my Final Cut Pro is just not working so I probably need to call tech support 
I'm not sure when I'll be able to post it. We're watching Thunder Over Louisville. I guess that's tonight. What, Bubby? See, I keep getting this. It's so very annoying. <sighs> with just two apps open. So I gotta figure out what's going on with that. So whenever this finally is posted, that means I would have finally have figured out how to resolve this. So hopefully I can call tech support tomorrow and they can help assist the app. Trying to get Mila to watch the fireworks. We're watching Thunder at home. Good morning. So I just made breakfast and I thought I would make a good like iced coffee drink and this is by no means something that I would drink on a day-to-day -day basis because it is sugary um, but occasionally I like to have something like this um, just to kind of switch it up so um, what I'm going to what you're gonna need is like iced coffee any type any type will um, this is the only whipped cream I have on hand you can always make your own I have to get these exact combinations of syrup just get whatever you think sounds good but I'm kind of going for like a Samoa cookie iced coffee kind of drink so that's why I chose these um, this is some caramel syrup which is almost gone you can see it's I sh probably shouldn't even be showing that <laughs> it's spilling all over the place not very aesthetic but that's what I'm gonna use so I'm gonna show it and then I'm gonna use some of this uh, white chocolate flavored sauce syrup stuff and the Hershey's special dark chocolate syrup that I did in my little grocery haul. This is um, some coconut that I toasted in the oven. I just set the oven on like 350, let it preheat and then the darker, I like mine extra like I guess crispy, I don't really know the word, it, to me it just tastes better that way. So but I mixed that, I cooked it for about 10 minutes and that's how you get the really dark piece like that medium kind of color you probably want to cook that for about seven minutes or so you can eyeball it obviously you can see the color changing but it's get started so the first thing I'm gonna do is put some of this syrup on in the inside of the cup so I'm gonna do that off camera because I can't find my tripod to set this up so I'm gonna do that I'll be right back another scoop coffee getting mixed up there I like to go ahead and put some of the coconut in there I don't know some people might not like this it's kind of a texture thing maybe but I like it I like to mix that in there and then I take coconut now it's time to go back in with the syrup I was a little too heavy-handed with the chocolate the uh, dark chocolate syrup so I'm not gonna put a ton of that just a little bit of the white chocolate as well the camera is almost gone so it may not even really come out of here Of coconut, as you can see, and then you can just kind of stop there, move all this out of the way, let it have its moment or whatever. Hey, so as you can see, I'm in the garage right now. I'm gonna do a review on the pink stuff. I'm going to use it on sneakers. So I can't believe all this mess is in the background. So it's all out of storage and now it just has to get organized. So much stuff. Okay, so I'll probably start with the least dirty shoe because these are gonna be crazy to clean, I feel like.
I'm just gonna take an old toothbrush and put on that amount. About that much. Oh, it probably would help if I read the directions. Dipping it in some water. So I'm just taking an old mask that was in the car and um, just gonna wipe that off. This is to kind of compare the level of dirtiness that was on the shoe before. beaters that I have that I want to customize but this is yellowed out it's gotten you know yellow and stained just curious to see if this will work to clean this off or not I'm not really even paying attention to it getting all over the shoes because like I said I'm gonna take these eventually if I can get this to um, lift a little bit I'm going to customize them. So I really just want to see if it works or not on the yellow one. Oh, I do. I like this stuff. So far, so good. I like this, the texture of it. It's like abrasive enough. Kind of like similar to toothpaste. It has kind of like a toothpaste almost texture to it. But you can kind of see as it cleans, it does a pretty good job. But these are not going to get back to white, obviously, because they've been sitting for... These are obviously super old, so they're not going to get back white again. So far, so good. It has the shoes looking almost brand new. In the toe part with the fabric, it cleaned it pretty good. Now, like I said, this is just what I had—an old um, mask that was in the trash in the car. But if I had like a, you know, 